I can see your license and registration, please. I'd like to see your other license and registration, please. All right, your resident alien card has you restricted to the island of Manhattan. Where are you going, Reggie? Well, it's my wife. She's... Well, look. <coughs> oh. All right. Okay, no big deal. Okay. You come with me, Reg. And, um, and you handle this. What? Me? Yeah, it's easy. You just catch. Are you sure he knows what he's doing? He does it all the time. Let the men work. Oh. Uh. Okay, uh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, Kay. Um, damn, man. Just, Kay, something's peeking. Proactive midwife at 54th and Madison. You're headed out of town, Reggie. What's going on? Oh, well, we're, we're meeting someone. Who you meeting? Well, it's a ship. A ship? I didn't see a departure plans for today. You didn't? No. Well, it's, uh, well, it's an emergency. What? You're doing fine, Ace. What kind of emergency? What's the rush to get off the planet all this stuff? We just don't like the neighborhood anymore. Just some of the, uh, new arrivals. What new arrivals? Have anything to do with the crasher from last night? Help me, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, oh okay. Look. Oh, man. <laughs> Congratulations, Reg. It's a squid. Okay, man. <laughs> you know, it's actually kind of... <laughs> cute. Anything about that seem unusual to you? What would scare Regic so badly that he'd risk a warp jump with a newborn? Let me check the hot sheets. These are the hot sheets? Best investigator reporting on the planet. Okay, Go ahead, read the New York Times if you want to. They get lucky sometimes. Thanks, Manny. Then I believe you're looking for tips in the supermarket tabloids. Not looking for. Found. Wait a minute, slow down. Why? Give her time to get the wrong impression. It makes things go a lot smoother. Can I help you, gentlemen? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm Special Agent Mannheim. This is Special Agent Black with the FBI. We'd like to talk to you about your visitor. You here to make fun of me, too? No, ma'am. We at the FBI do not have a sense of humor we're aware of. May we come in? Sure. Thank you. Lemonade? Oh, yes, please. Chief of Police himself came up to the house and did a full-out professional investigation. Took a police report and written down everything I said from A to Z, and not believing one thing I said. Sort of poking fun at me. And they asked me if he was murdered, how was he able to walk back in the house? And I gotta admit to you, that one got me sort of stumped. But I'll tell you something right now. I know Egger, and that was an Egger. It's like something was wearing Egger. Like a like a suit, an eager suit. <laughs> Dude, was that ugly before he was an alien? <laughs> I'm sorry. Go on. Anyway, I come to and he's gone. Did he say anything? Yes, he asked me for some water. Some, uh, sugar water. Sugar water? Yeah, I remember that right. Because I thought that that was odd. They'd ask me for sugar water or not. Lemonade or ice water or regular water or tap water. All right, Beatrice. There was no alien. The flash of light you saw in the sky was not a UFO. Swamp gas from a weather balloon was trapped in a thermal pocket and refracted the light from Venus. Well, wait, wait a minute. So you just flash that thing, it erases her memory, and you, you just make up a new one? A standard-issue neuralizer. And that weak-ass story is the best you can come up with. All right. 
On a more personal note, Beatrice, Edgar ran off with an old girlfriend. You're gonna go stay with your mom a couple of nights, you're gonna get over it and decide you're better off. Well, yeah, you know, cause, cause he, he never appreciated you anyway. In fact, you know what? You kicked him out. And now that he's gone, you gonna go in town, you go to Bloomingdale's, you find yourself some nice dresses, get yourself some shoes, you know, find somewhere, maybe you get a facial. And, uh, oh, hire a decorator to come in here quick, cause damn. Okay, look, check it out, man. When do I get my own flashy little memory messer upper thingy? When you grow up. Mm, okay. Please, not green. Oh, damn. I don't suppose you know what kind of alien life form leaves a green spectral trail and craves sugar water, do you? Oh, wait, that was on Final Jeopardy last night. Damn, Alex said it was. Zed, we have a bug. So, what? We don't like bugs. Bugs thrive on carnage, tiger. They consume, infest, destroy, live off the death and destruction of other species. You were stung as a child, weren't you? No, listen, kid. Imagine a giant cockroach with unlimited strength, a massive inferiority complex, and a real short temper. Is terrassing around Manhattan Island in a brand new headgear suit. Does that sound like fun? What's the move? With the bug in town, we'll watch the morgues. 